Hello everyone. Welcome to the presentation. Today we are going to discuss about protein staining. If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and click on the bell icon to get notified. Once the proteins are separated using a SDS page or native page, to visualize the protein, we need to stain the gel. So there are different uh, gel staining methods available for visualizing the proteins. So some of the most commonly used uh, methods are Comasi dye based staining, silver staining, fluorescent dye staining and zinc staining. So let's see uh, one by one in detail. The most commonly used uh, dye staining method is the Comasi dye staining. The, there are two forms of uh, Comasi Brilliant Blue, the Comasi Brilliant Blue R and uh, Comasi Brilliant Blue G. Comasi Brilliant Blue R250 or G250 can be used for protein staining. Most commonly, uh, Comasi Brilliant Blue R250 is used for the protein staining of the SDS base gels. In the staining reaction, Comasi dye binds to proteins through ionic interaction between sulfonic acid groups and uh, positive protein amine groups through Van der Waals interaction. So this is the uh, basic principle uh, of the Comasi dye staining. So the gel need to be fixed initially. So the uh, brilliant blue dye is prepared in uh, acetic acid solution and the uh, protein after the gel run is incubated in the gel staining solution containing the Comasi dye. Once the staining is done, uh, this uh, the, the entire gel will turn to become uh, blue color once the uh, gel uh, this need to be deed stained to get the vis uh, visible protein band so that is done in uh, acetic acid methanol mixture so that will de stain the uh, protein uh, protein gel and the protein bands as visible as uh, blue color that is the principle and the method of uh, comasi dye based staining the other method is the silver staining so the silver staining principle is based on the deposition of metallic silver on the locations of proteins in the gel so it's a very sensitive technique wherein uh, the silver ions get deposited on the proteins in the gel and uh, the silver ions binds to carboxylic acid and uh, sulfhydryl groups in the protein. In the later stages, the deposited silver is converted into metallic silver and the bands will be developed as the brown colored bands. So this is the uh, principle of silver staining. So the procedure is similar where uh, there are two different protocols are available where one is the acidic protocol and one is the alkaline based protocol. So ammonia and high, uh, uh, sodium hydroxide is used in the alkaline based protocol. Next is the sink staining. Sink staining uh, it's a very rapid method uh, which can be completed in around 15 minutes. The other methods take longer time uh, as it requires the staining as well as the de-staining. Sink staining this is also very sensitive method as the sensitivity is similar to the Comasi Brilliant Blue staining method. And in this method, the whole gel is stained except the protein containing region. So the all other regions are stained except the protein containing uh, region. The zinc ion complex with the imidazole and the precipitates in the region except where the SDS protein complex are present. So where the protein is present, this will not be stained. So uh, it will, the whole gel will turn a whitish color so the gel can be captured uh, by keeping in a placing in a black background and gel can be visualized there are other methods of gel staining which involves the fluorescent staining methods where the uh, gel after the run is uh, incubated in the uh, fluorescent dye containing solution and uh, this can be captured uh, under the uv light hope you are clear with the gel staining topic if you like the video, please press the like button and share it with your friends. Thank you.